eating well means eating foods of wide variety. So choose a lot of different foods, don't settle on a few. Hey, choose a balanced diet if you want what's good for you. And don't forget that exercise completes the recipe. So eat well and be well, that's the key. Eat well and be well, that's the key. Happy birthday! Well, certainly one of you is having a birthday today. How about tomorrow? Maybe yesterday? Well, for whoever it is, I've made this firework fruit ball. That's what I call it because it looks so great. Kind of like fireworks, I think, don't you? I serve it up for special occasions like birthdays and Christmas, Thanksgiving. It's fun to make and it's delicious to eat. <laughs> mm, that's good. But usually, it's on special occasions, like parties and holidays, if we haven't got a firework fruit ball to make it festive, that we get into trouble. Yeah, all those times when we feel we just got a snack on something sweet and gooey just because we feel like it. Uh-oh, look at that. These sweet and fatty foods are, along with alcohol, the fifth food group. But it's not a food group that's part of our balanced diet. Alcohol is a total no-no, of course. And naturally, you're bound to have some sweet and fatty foods once in a while, and there are some nutrients in them. But there are also some serious problems that I want you to understand so you won't overeat them. Refined sugar. That's sugar that's added to other foods to sweeten them. It's been proven to be very bad for the tender teeth of young persons. It turns into acid when it meets the bacteria that normally inhabit your mouth and that acid attacks your teeth. Arrgh, what a lovely white tooth waiting for me to destroy it. No, please, go away, I don't want a cavity. It's too late, I'm here and I'm gonna make a hole in you, silently. Cavities hurt, I don't want one, oh dear. Well, I'm sure you don't want that to happen, so do try to control your intake of sugary food. But after you do indulge, be sure to brush your teeth well and get any sugar that might still be hidden between them and around your gums right out of there. Especially if you've been feasting on things like, oh, toffees and, you know, sticky candies. Now, the other problem with these sugary and fatty foods is the high amount of calories in them. Maybe I better stop here and ask you if you know what a calorie is. I bet you hear grown-ups talk about calories a lot when they talk about how they ought to diet. But you still might not know exactly what a calorie is. Well. Calories are a measurement of food energy. One calorie is one unit of energy. Different foods give us different amounts of energy, measured in calories. All the foods we eat, except water, have energy calories. These, for example, have few calories, although they have lots of nutrients. Whereas these have large amounts of calories, and in relationship, fewer nutrients. Meats, like this here, with a lot of fat on it, has lots of calories. And that's why we recommend that you eat more poultry and fish to get the protein you need. They have many fewer calories for you to exercise off. You see, if we don't exercise enough to use up all the energy those calories offer us, they'll stay in our bodies in the form of fat. Yep, believe it or not, unused food energy, calories, turns into fat and hangs around on us until we spend a lot of extra energy trying to use them up. But since a good diet should give us all the energy we ordinarily need to work and play, that extra energy stored in us as fat might never get used up. We might just have to keep lugging it around. Ever tried carrying 10 pounds upstairs or on your back all day? Although 10 pounds isn't really a threat to your health, it's far better for you to stay at your desirable weight. These simplified charts show the satisfactory relationship between height and age and weight and age. Starting at the age of two and going up to 12. Of course, each one of us grows differently according to our birth weight, our bone structure, how our bodies function, you know. So each one of us has a different desirable weight. This heavy red line in the middle is the most appropriate height and weight for a given age based on research scientists have done. For instance, 
On this chart, a boy of nine would approximately be 51 inches tall and weigh just about 57 pounds. If he weighs over 80 pounds, well, that's trouble. That's what the doctors would call obese. And being obese is a danger for your health. Now, I'm gonna drop my 10 extra pounds. Kaboom. Whew, what a relief. Unfortunately, when those 10 pounds are on our bodies as fat, we can't drop them just like we did those books. We have to eat a lot fewer calories. You also have to exercise more to burn up that extra fat. I've asked some young friends of mine to draw some pictures and tell us what they think happens to us when we don't stick to our balanced diet and eat more calories than we need for growth and activity. Well, she couldn't stop eating and that's why she's so fat and her teeth are black because she didn't brush her teeth after she ate the cake. She's fat, so she doesn't want to eat any more candy. So she's dropping all the candy, and now she's thinking of ice cream cones and bubble gum. He's so fat because he ate so many chocolate bars, and the chocolate has a lot of calories. And there's sugar in chocolate bars makes you fat. Is there anybody in this room who wants to be one of them? Well, don't worry, you won't be if you practice moderation and select foods based on good old four, four, three, and two. Oh, now, one special word about meat, poultry, fish, and beans. These foods give us a lot of good protein, but meat especially has a substance in it called cholesterol. Some people have a tendency towards having cholesterol settle in their arteries, which makes it difficult for the blood to get through. And that can be a serious health problem in older people. So it's good to know about it when we're still young and healthy and do what we can to prevent problems later. Now, I think there are two good ways. One, exercise. Because exercise helps dispose of that unwanted cholesterol. And two, go easy on the animal fat. Now, before we get into snacking, that calorie danger zone, how about finding out what's been happening to our three little friends from space? Remember, who landed on Earth by accident? Their adventure may just help you to better remember what we've been talking about. When we left Chip and Pan and Rab, they were in a very scary situation. They were locked in the neat eatery with Fido, the attack cat. This is where we left them, right? During the night, they experimented with eating meat and chicken and fish, like the people creatures they saw, without being caught by Fido. And now, the next morning, with all that bodybuilding protein running through their bodies, they're feeling quite daring. Yeah, even Pan. Why don't we take him by surprise and tie him up? Then we wouldn't have to hide like this. I'm all for that, said Chip, flexing his muscles. And then we can make a run for it. Maybe. Pan went on bravely. I can't believe what I'm hearing, Rabby said. You two looking for a fight? Let's go, fellas. Chip made fists as he moved toward Fido, who was feeling very safe and paying little attention. Then there was a mad scramble as Chip leaped onto Fido and Pan pushed him over and Rabby dealt the final blow. When it was all over, Fido looked at the three fearless and tough little space animals with a lot of respect. Then he smiled, started to purr, and rolled over onto his back to be scratched. He was just a pussy cat. Rabby, for once, was almost astonished. That stuff we've been eating is really magic. I wonder what it's called. I'd like to bring some home. That reminded them that they better get going. But just then, a whole bunch of earth creatures bustled in with boxes and bags and looking very busy. Oh, doesn't everything look beautiful? Rabby said. Do you think all those things in such pretty colors are supposed to be eaten? They certainly look good enough to eat. Pan's mouth was watering, which never happened when he was refueled back at home. I think I'll try one of something or other. Rab, don't you dare, Chip cried out. It doesn't belong to you. We don't belong here. We'll get caught. Oh, you're such a wimp sometimes, Rabby answered. But she knew he was right. In any case, it didn't matter what Rabby wanted, because at that moment, Mary and lots of her friends came in and sat down at the table covered with goodies. And they began to eat everything, including the big birthday cake with nine candles. Look! It's my friend, Rabby cried out. 
she'll invite us to her party. And in fact, when Mary saw Rabbi, she invited all three of the little space animals to join her birthday party. And they had a wonderful time. It was the first time Rabbi and Pan and Chip had tasted sweet things, and they absolutely stuffed themselves on the candy and cake and ice cream. And when the party was over, they filled their bags with more of this delicious tasting stuff. Wow, whatever it was we were eating certainly has given me quick energy. Rabbi was skimming along at a great rate. I'm sure we'll find help now. Me too. Chip was skimming along and even Pan was moving briskly. But then, after a little while, quite suddenly, all the pep went out of them. They couldn't move. They just lay there, not understanding what had happened. I'm so tired, Chip moaned. And I feel so fat, Pan sighed. Oh, so fat. And I feel yucky, Rabbi said, and that was very unusual. Maybe if I eat some more of that party stuff, it'll help. But of course, it didn't. And after her fifth lollipop, one of her big and beautiful front teeth started to hurt. She'd never had a toothache before. I wish I were home, she groaned, holding her cheek. Home is so far away, Chip sighed weakly. Do you think we'll ever get home? Pan asked the stars. I wonder too. I also wonder if they're going to realize that all that sweet and fatty stuff they found so delicious isn't doing them much good. As I was saying before, the easiest time to go for sugary foods is when we snack. Now, there's no harm in having a chocolate bar once in a while, especially if you're about to work it off with some hard work or exercise. But here are some suggestions for snacks that are really nourishing and that you can make for yourself. I'll give you one from each of the food groups so you can work them into your 4, 4, 3, and 2 menu. For example, the first one, a dairy group snack. This is a fruit yogurt shake. What I've done here is taken some yogurt and put it in a blender. I'm gonna add a banana and some delicious strawberries for, you know, the flavor and the nutrients. Put the old cap on the blender and blend away. <laughs> Ta-da! See how this tastes now. Sure looks good. Oh boy, that's delicious. Now, how about a snack from the meat, poultry, fish, and bean group? Of course, I don't always find cold chicken in the refrigerator, but when I do, it really is one of my favorite snacks. It's got lots of protein and not much animal fat if you take off the skin. You see, the fat hides in the skin. Pretty sneaky, huh? Now, how about a snack from the fruit group? My secret recipe for extra nutrients. What I do is, I spread a little bit of peanut butter on some fruit. In this case, maybe an apple. Mmm. You should try that combination. It's delicious. You could do it, put peanut butter on bananas, celery, anything you like. Really is good. Now, how about from the bread and cereal group? Here's where I like to take some oatmeal cookies and sort of crumble them up, and then put some raisins and nuts on them. It's a good combination, it's got some nutrients too. But since there are more sweets and fats in this snack, it's got more calories. So I'm gonna put skim milk on it, all right? And I'll be sure to exercise to keep to my desirable weight. Well, I can't resist this one. I'm gonna dig right into it. Before I do, let me repeat, watch out for that fifth food group. Then you can snack well, eat well, and be well. And see you soon.